The Fountain Day 174, Tender Mercies. You made me, you created me. Now give me the sense to follow your commands. May all who fear you find in me a cause for joy. For I have put my hope in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your regulations are fair. You disciplined me because I needed it. Now let your unfailing love comfort me just as you promised your servant. Surround me with your tender mercies so I may live for your, for your instructions are my delight. Bring disgrace upon the arrogant people who lied about me. Meanwhile, I will concentrate on your commandments. Let me be united with all who fear you, with those who know your laws. May I be blameless in keeping your decrees, then I will never be ashamed. Psalm 119, verses 73 through 80. I really love how the above verse says, May all who fear you find in me a cause for joy, for I have put my hope in your word. I've noticed that when I live boldly for God and allow his joy to fill me, then others are naturally encouraged by me. The opposite could also be true. When I don't stay focused on truth and joy, then I can just as easily become a downer. And downers always end up pulling others down. We all love to be around authentically joyful people. It's very attractive. Joy is such a beautiful strength. We are all to be stewards of his joy. We are also to be stewards of his tender mercies. I love the way it's described as tender. God's mercies are the epitome of tender. It's his mercy that called us into his heart. It's his kindness that leads to repentance. Kindness is a fruit of mercy. I don't know about you, but sometimes I struggle to feel that kind of, I'm sorry, I don't know about you, but sometimes I struggle to feel kind toward difficult people those who are struggling with things that I truly don't understand, those who are pushing agendas that I see as clearly demonic. This week as I reflected on the trans movement that is currently being shoved at us left and right, I was angry and then I suddenly became so grieved. The mercy of God flowed over me and I saw that this particular weapon of the enemy was such an affront. When those who have been pulled into the lie of trans are saved and seek to walk with God, it will be glorious, yes, but it will also be very hard. The enemy of our souls is tricking people into literally changing their bodies with chemicals and surgery. When I was thinking about it, I saw how difficult and complex it might be for some when they are saved and seek to live a normal life. I know this because I lived it, not because of trans, but because of my own sexual sin. When I began to truly walk with Jesus, the hardest sin for me to forgive in myself were the sins I committed against my own body. I know firsthand the challenge of feeling like I could never be holy, feeling like I could never be fully right with God because I'd chosen to sin against my own body. My heart is so beyond grieved that this would be the case for this generation. Oh, Lord help us. I would never desire for anyone to struggle with what I've struggled with in terms of feeling like I might never be clean again. I know what it is to be made clean. Therefore, my heart towards those who are sinning against themselves is so heavy. Lord, let your tender mercies flow from the mercy seat and over our land. Lord, protect people from the tricks of the enemy. Bring fast forgiveness and transformation to those who have become enslaved to demonic agendas. You alone are holy. I know that I stand as, a redeem as redeemed only because of Jesus' blood shed for me. Lord, awaken this generation to the salvation that comes only from Jesus. Bring forth a revolution of morality and holiness. We need you, we always have. And right now we need you so desperately. Come Lord Jesus, come. Forgive our sins and lead us down right paths.
In Jesus' name, amen.